Welcome back! Today I'm going to test the new active track modes of the DJI Mini 4 Pro. So you can go to the video and then select for example myself and there you have the option to active track. Ah, it doesn't recognize me as, as a human. <laughs> That's great. Okay, I will cancel that. I will mark myself again. And I will click to active track. Tap go and the drone should follow myself automatically. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it avoids this obstacle or what does it do? Yes, it avoids the obstacle and follows me. What if I make a little circle? It still holds me nice and steady in the frame and it keeps the distance set at the beginning. I will again try the obstacle here. It flies over it, perfect. That is so cool. Okay, so there you have it guys. This is the new active track. I will stop the mode here. I will mark myself again. Click point of interest. Let's see if it works. seems to work fine. That's nice. And it just turns and turns around me until I say stop. Spotlight always keeps me in the frame. I will also try that. So if I wander around the drone should turn with me. It stays at the very same place it is except you're flying it manually. So I can go up and it keeps me in the frame. I can go down and it keeps me in the frame. I can go forward and it will keep me in the frame. I can go sidewards and it should avoid all obstacles while doing so. But I think active track is the most interesting. You can trace it so that it follows you behind yourself. Or if I walk towards it, it will also move backwards while avoiding obstacles. Or you can set it to parallel. You can bring the drone parallel to you like this. and then it should fly alongside you, parallel. And this time this mode is especially interesting with the DJI Mini 4 Pro because now it will avoid obstacles when flying parallel. Which is great because before you always had this fear of crashing with something when doing this type of active track thing but now at least you have some protection of it, which is really nice. You can also go lower. Minimum flight altitude reached. Okay, so it has a minimum. Here you will have some obstacles, but it recognizes them and avoids them, which is really nice. So you don't have to worry at all about flying into obstacles because it will avoid them very precisely, at least when it's daylight. At low light I wouldn't trust them at all. <laughs> but like this it works really nicely.